Hello and welcome to a new host of our video. My name's Alex and today we're going to have a quick look at the Unify AP Groups. In the last few weeks we published a guide on our help centre which goes over how to use the AP Groups and how it can benefit your network. So we're going to have a quick look at my Unify controller and see how I use AP Groups in my network. So AP Groups are a good way to have specific SSIDs for different APs in your controller. So for example if you have a few IoT devices and you want one SSID to broadcast in the kitchen for example you can create a new SSID called Kitchen IoT and have an AP group for that one AP and then you can have that SSID broadcast only on that AP and you can even go so far as specify the channel or the frequency it actually broadcasts on so 2.4 gigahertz or 5 gigahertz. In the IoT example a lot of those devices use 2.4 gigahertz only um, so therefore it'd be better to limit that to one uh, one frequency if that makes sense. So we've got a written guide on our support center, link is down in the description. Uh, it goes over how to do what we're going to do in the video, so we're going to get started now. So I'm going to go to unify.ui.com, the, ne the new network servers tab, and we're going to log into my Hostify controller. As you can see I've got my UXG Pro on this, on this controller here, and we'll go to devices. So I've got two wireless APs, and we're going to make a new SSID uh, we're going to make two new SSIDs and then show you how to limit that to each AP. I'm just going to go across to settings. So I've got this Hostify test network which I'm actually going to remove. So if we go manage, remove. And we're going to go back to our devices and we're going to name this AP as um, Kitchen AP. And this one is going to become. This one's going to become our bedroom AP, just for naming, just for sort of show the example. So let's say we want an SSID for uh, our IoT devices in the kitchen. So we've got smoke alarms and different light bulbs and things. And we're going to do IoT passwords. Going to give me something random. One, two, three, four, five, six, and some random letters. Network's going to be default. Uh, you can specify your IoT network if you want to. And we're going to go down to this Broadcasting AP section, and we're going to untick the All APs and create a new group. The group name is going to be Kitchen. We're going to specify the Kitchen AP, and that's going to be that one, one device now. And we can, we're going to, we'll go down and set the 2.4 gigahertz as well. So we're going to add that new network, and that means now that that one AP in the kitchen on this AP group is now broadcasting Kitchen IoT. Then if we go down to Devices, we can have a look at the AP and what groups it's actually a member of. So it says the Wi-Fi name, that's the only SSID it's got. So it's in multiple AP groups, and if you hover over it, it will say it's in all three groups, all APs, Hostify, and Kitchen. Um, so you can actually go in and, and update those. So that's been a quick look at how to use Unify AP groups. If you need any more information, have a look at hostify.com. We do Unify hosting, UISP hosting, and now TP-Link Armada hosting. If you need any help with Unify or TP-Link Armada, don't hesitate to contact our team at support at hostify.com. You can do live chat, phone call, or email. We're also on Twitter at hostify underscore net. Thank you for watching this video. My name's Alex, and we'll see you again next time.